Hi, hi. Welcome back to One Word a Day. I'm Sophie, your co-pilot into the universe of Chinese. And this week, we have been talking about the latest, the newest <laughs> slang words in Chinese, contemporary Chinese. Um, after all the classical Chinese, I want to show you what contemporary Chinese, like what the newest expressions came up by the English speakers. I mean, by the Chinese speakers. So we have YYDS, you know, it doesn't mean anything in English, even if the letters are English, but it was the, I mean, it is the borrowed, uh, Romanized Chinese initials, which came from Shen, which is the greatest of all time English concept. And now we got <laughs> all, numeric expressions 1314 <laughs> almost like secret code like what do you mean 1314 okay so it means one life one generation pronounced as yi sheng yi shi um, so in in um, in chinese if we say 1314 in chinese yi san yi si it sounds like yi sheng yi shi. Okay, so anyways, <laughs> let me try to make sense on this slide. Um, so we have the exactly yi and yi here, right? And san, san is S-A-N in its uh, pronunciation, but we changed the vowel here a little bit and added the tone of the nozzle sound to make it deeper, go, go backwards. So it become sheng instead of san, it's sheng, but close enough, right? And si, instead of uh, si, we have the tongue curled up by having this H symbol over there. We, do, uh, we mean shi instead of si, we have shi here. So 1314, yi san, yi si became yi sheng, yi shi. Actually, that's not correct either. Because in Chinese, if we say yi sheng yi shi, it sounds robotic. It doesn't sound, you know, the nat natural flow. At least to me, when I'm using this yi sheng yi shi, I will say, you, you know this, right? It, it becomes yi sheng yi shi. So instead of yi, original sound is a flat tone. When it's put together with sheng, which is flat tone again, because then you have three flat tones together <laughs> it's hard to pronounce and then the last one falling tone right so we make this curve which is falling tone flat rising tone and down which is a better flow of tones so it becomes yi sheng yi shi instead of yi sheng yi shi it's more difficult okay yi sheng yi shi okay Okay, we have number one, that's easy, right? Just horizontal line one. So we have double one here. The two concepts, sheng and shi, is worth our time explaining. So the original form of this sheng looks like this. Okay, so this is a planned form because Chinese is agriculture based culture, right? So we have a lot of plant symbols in our language. So life to us was this form of plant rising up from the soil. So this is the ground, the soil, and then it still has its roots on. So it's something still alive, still growing from the ground. So that's our concept of a life, something living. Okay, shi. What does that mean? Like this actually, without the three horizontal little knots over there, um, the structure, it looks almost like a cactus, right? <laughs> but with this thing pointing down, this is a symbol for, for the food. So I, I don't know how that came into being, but it, it's the food symbol uh, with the, I would envision it as the big toe pointing downwards. <laughs> That's your food symbol. But the three horizontal lines is a signifier of three decades. So for Chinese, the 
the concept of generation is 30 years, one generation, meaning by age 30, you should have your next generation coming up already. You cannot, uh, <laughs> according to the old Chinese way, you cannot not to have your children. You have to continue this lineage, right? So within 30, 30 is the max time assigned to you as an individual adult. And then when you become adult, right? By year 30, you have to have your children. Um, okay, so that's just three decades. And you can see how it became abstracted of the three in one horizontal line. So instead of three, it takes a lot longer to write, right? We make it one to cross three of these um, structures. So that means generation. And 1314, Yi um, became this one life, one generation. What does that mean? Okay. This expression is commonly used on wedding settings. So you can see this is one wedding, wedding room uh, image uh, because there, there was a, a certain uh, customs in Chinese that um, the, the groom is supposed to get, to get the bride um, <laughs> almost like a robbing her from her chamber um, to the wedding ceremony. So this is like a pre-wedding ceremony, which is staged. It's almost like a, um, a show put on stage with all your families gathered around and then people speak up, speak, right? and the, the, the newlyweds are going to be, you know, ridiculed by the, the host, you know, try to make it fun. So the whole ceremony was, um, I mean, it's mostly held in a, like a dining hall somewhere, but this is like a hotel room about that dining hall that the, the groom is supposed to come over to, to get a, invite the bride downstairs. So this is the background. So we see here is the promise of word, right? This is the whole foundation. It's based on love, right? So this we see is in English and then 1314 become this coded way or succinct way. Instead of saying, written it out, yi sheng yi shi, how complicated that is. Just 1314 pronounced as yi san yi si. <laughs> it kind of like yi sheng yi shi, it's one promise. Okay, so it's like one, throughout the lifetime, uh, we're going to make a new generation together and we're going to stick together, uh, not separate it. So it's like a promise making uh, code 1314 means you stay together forever, one lifetime, and making one generation after you. And that's happily ever after in Chinese expression. You see how succinct it become? <laughs> it's a very abstract form, right? 1314 simply means a promise to be together throughout your life. Um, and on this picture, you can see this fan thing. It's uh, also the old way of uh, Chinese fan for girls, because for guys, it's a different type of fan. So this is for girl to hide her face. Um, so the whole setting here is, you know, in a contemporary hotel setting, um, but with this uh, wedding balloon decoration and with the fan to make it kind of connecting to the, to the past, to the um, Chinese, traditional roots, right? But everything is contemporized. Um, all right, so I hope everybody find your 1314, <laughs> someone 1314 or something that you want to dedicate your life to. That's 1314.